Grant? How can you hear me? The voice came through Grant Thompson's iPhone. The 14-year-old had FaceTimed his friend Nathan to ask if he wanted to play the game Fortnite. But Nathan didn't answer right away. So Grant swiped to add another friend to a group FaceTime call. All of a sudden, he could hear Nathan and Nathan could hear him. But Nathan had never tapped to answer the call. Both of their phones showed the call still ringing. This happened on January 19, 2019. Grant, a high school freshman in Arizona, could have shrugged off the strange glitch and spent the evening playing Fortnite. But that's not what he did. He told Nathan to hang up and called him again. He wanted to see if he could get the call to connect again without Nathan answering. We tested it for like half an hour, Grant says. It worked every single time. As a freshman in high school, Grant Thompson discovered a major bug in his iPhone software. He says everyone should pay attention to what's going on in their phones. More bugs likely exist that no one has found yet. Feeling shocked and concerned, Grant went to find his mom, Michelle Thompson, and tell her what had happened. She decided to test the problem herself. She asked Grant to try to FaceTime her from a different room. When he did, she didn't answer. Meanwhile, Grant swiped to add his sister to the call. He was too far away to hear his mom's voice normally. But through his phone, he heard her quietly singing the ABCs. Grant and his family had discovered a major mistake, also called a bug, in the iPhone software. This bug let a person listen to someone else without their permission or knowledge. Grant's mom is a lawyer at a law firm in Tucson, Arizona. She regularly handles privacy issues in her practice, so she knew the bug was a big deal. She reported it to Apple, the maker of the iPhone. Honestly, I thought it was going to be fixed the next day, she says. But it wasn't. For almost two weeks, she tried to get the attention of the right people at Apple. Meanwhile, others discovered this bug existed. Soon, the cyber bug hit the news and Apple shut down group FaceTime. The bug earned the clever nickname Facepalm. On February 7, the company released a software update that fixed the problem. Apple also rewarded Grant. He had been the first person to report the bug. They gave a gift towards my education, he says. The experience taught him to be careful with technology. He also learned that anyone can discover a major security problem.